So what I'm hoping to do today is I would like to do some Mishima. I'm going to try some Mishima etchings on the outside. But in order to do, and I had, I was trying out some design work on a little thing of clay and I thought I might try something like this if I can, except that I don't know if I'll be able to do it on the slant. So that's a little bit of a test for me. But in order to do Mishima, I've got Mako Wax Resist or a wax resist, and I'm going to brush it on here, let it dry, and then I'm going to scratch away uh, and then paint over that. So that is the plan and that's hopefully what you'll see. This is just one of those um, really cheap Ikea brushes. You get them in a pack of like five or six of them, different shapes. So I'm going to try to use this because I think these are synthetic and I really don't know if it's okay, but I think it'll be fine. So let's, let's try. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do this all over. Um, yeah, all over.
So I had to do a little bit of touching up on some little patches where when I was engraving, um, the, the wax started to peel off. But I've gone ahead a little bit, so I didn't get all of this on video, but I am now um, filling in, now that, the, now that the wax is dry, I'm filling in, I'm just painting like a heavy, generous coat of underglaze on top of every place that I've carved. And I'm not being particularly careful about it, I'm just making sure that I'm getting a lot of it in there. Uh, let me see if I can get that at a better angle. I mean, it's not really, there isn't much to see other than I'm just putting great big dollops on. And I hope that this works. So my understanding is now I will dry it. I will let these, all of this underglaze dry up and um, and then I will gently wipe it off with a damp sponge. So I also ended up carving into that bottom line that I had at the rim, which was really my marker for where I shouldn't glaze below. But since I've put wax resist on everything, I, I can um, sort of freely, I can freely paint on top of it and I know that it'll wipe off. Okay, so I think that that is staying. Now, I, I really wanted it to be a thick coat um, so that it can fill the groove in entirely, but I wonder if some of my grooves are thicker than they needed to be. And if that's the case, then I might not be able to get all of my underglaze, uh, all, all the gaps really filled in perfectly to an even level. But I understand that with Mishima, I should be able to get a nice smooth, finish at the end. Perhaps that will come after I uh, after I do my final glossy coating, if I end up doing one, which I think I probably will, because this here is an underglaze, and I think that the underglaze will, it's certainly not going to make it anything food safe, so I am going to need to put something on the outside to protect it. So I also did this, which is my little signature at the bottom, and all of this is waxed, so it's not really gonna do anything. Right, I think that is pretty good. It's pretty reasonably good coverage. And now we shall just leave it to dry.